Now the question here is whether it's even, odd, or neither, and what kind of symmetry does it have? Teaching math at the high school level can seem like a foreign language. Working with things like variables, symbols, and coefficients can scare even the brightest of students. Our December Break the Mold Award winner is known as a teacher that makes even the most difficult math concepts very easy to understand. Minus F of A over B minus A. Because she is an outstanding teacher and she's willing to do whatever it takes to work with kids to help them learn, um, whether that's even visiting them at home and, and reaching out and trying to make connections with kids. Uh, simply as a person, as a colleague, uh, she's just phenomenal. She cares for everyone to a great extent. She's willing to help out in any way she can. Mary Jo is probably the most dedicated teacher I have ever worked with in my teaching experience. She is all about the students and wanting them to succeed, wanting them to understand, wanting them to be the best that they can be. And she goes above and beyond what anybody would be required to do to make that happen. My favorite part of this job is interacting with the kids. I love teenagers and I just enjoy being with them. I enjoy the energy they provide. And so that's my favorite part, working with the kids. Mary Jo Recton is a math teacher at Rao High School teaching pre-calculus. Mary Jo has an obvious passion for teaching, but her real impact comes from her actions far beyond the walls of the classroom. Mrs. Recton is, uh, in one sense, she's the grandmother of our entire building. She takes care of everything with everybody. She's always interested in how everyone is doing, and that ex extends out to our community in general. She's always trying to help other people. Um, each year, she coordinates and orchestrates and, 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 and executes any number of fundraisers. For example, just this past year, she organized a, uh, a food drive for the parish kitchen. So students each week brought in items there for us to give to the parish kitchen for helping them in, in their work within the community. She uh, it has a heart of gold when it comes to doing something for anyone, whether it's a student or a faculty member or someone in the community. She's always there organizing uh, benefits or arranging for meals to be taken if someone is sick, uh, just whatever she can do. You know, so it, it works from the academic point of view, but it also works for the whole picture. I guess um, I could go back to my childhood. I grew up on Beaver Road, grew up right here. And um, I remember when my dad had a heart attack when I was 10 years old. And I remember our neighbors coming to do my dad's work, I'm gonna cry here, before they did their own. It was a giving thing. And uh, it's just been part of my life. After 38 years in the classroom, it looks like this will be Mary Jo's last year as a teacher. And you can rest assured, she will be missed by the entire Ryle community. There isn't anything about her that is fake or false. Her heart is as big as the ocean and for her it's just natural. If there's anything she can do to help someone, she's there. Whether it is going to their house, making arrangements to meet them at the library to help, uh, it's, it's who she is. Yeah, that's really the only thing I can say about that. So for dedication to teaching and giving to the Ryle community, we are proud to name Mary Jo Recton the December 2012 Boone County Schools Break the Mold Award winner. Mary Jo, congratulations on winning the Breaking the Mold Award. You are truly deserving of this more than anyone I've ever had the privilege of working with. And if you do decide not to come back next year, we all want you to know how much you will be missed. Mrs. Recton, you deserve the Break the Mold winner. You do so many things for our school, for our students, for others in the community. You definitely broke the mold. Congratulations to you.